So I told this story years ago. Uh, I have a video about it. But I'm going to remake it just because it's kind of fallen to the wayside of uh, forgotten videos. And I think it's an interesting story for those of you that are into the supernatural and stuff like that. Um, I've had a few supernatural experiences. One being the Phoenix Lights as a witness to that. Um, it happened in 1997. So anybody remember that? Probably not. But uh, anyway, I was one, one of the you know 50,000 or so witnesses to that. But this one's called um, Some Entity That I Saw out camping and uh story is is i was out camping with my brother and a few of his friends and we were in the tucson desert <clears throat> kind of by lemon grove lemon grove lemon mountain or mount lemon or something like that in that area and uh, back then shit this would have been this would have been right around 2009 something like that um back then it was pretty underdeveloped i heard it's much more developed now but back then it wasn't a whole lot going on and uh there were some landfills that they were digging for waste i guess right and uh, the landfills were deep. We're talking, you know, three or four stories deep, if not maybe even a little deeper. And uh, they had like a ramp that would go down in there, I guess, you know, for the construction trucks or whatever. But we're talking, you know, it was at least three or four stories deep. And uh, there wasn't really much in there. You know, if you looked over, I mean, I'm kind of scared of heights, so I didn't like, like to get really close over. But you can kind of see from a distance or stand on the top of a truck or whatever. There's like some appliances and shit that people would drive by and toss in there. It's a refrigerator or shit like that. But there wasn't, it wasn't filled with trash yet. And, um... So we're out there camping, we have a fire, and uh, a couple trucks, you know, whatever, some tents. And, you know, we would throw our beer cans and shit into the landfill, stuff like that. People, you know, we were drunk, and, you know, people would be funny, you know, piss over into it, stuff like that. Toss a couple things in there. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, we're kind of, I don't know, maybe, shit, I don't know, maybe a couple, couple hundred feet from the edge of the landfill. And, uh, well, somebody was over there taking a piss <clears throat> and saw something, heard something, so they're like, come on, come here. You come over there. And, uh, you know, you could hear something kind of like on the other distance, you know. I mean, I'm not sure exactly how wide the landfill was. Maybe, I don't know, 50 to 100 yards wide, you know. It's hard for me to remember exactly based on my memory. But, you know, it was, it was wide. And it wasn't too wide where we could see to the other side. But it was night. So you really couldn't see. But there was a full moon. So you could see kind of, you know. I mean, it wasn't illuminated well. But you could definitely see um, details. Not fine details on the other side of the wall. But you could see like where the wall wasn't perfectly smooth, where, you know, it kind of jagged a little bit. And, uh, well, you could see something over there on the side of the wall, you know, towards the bottom, maybe like a third of the way. It was definitely above the bottom of the side. And uh, it was kind of, you could hear the rocks falling and shit. You know, at first we thought, you know, oh, deer, something fell in there, right? Or a raccoon or, you know, whatever. You know, bear maybe, right? Who knows? You know, some, some sort of critter is what we assumed, right? Cougar, mountain lions, they're out there too, right? Uh, no one thought, of course, something, you know, supernatural. So, you know, we're trying to get the spotlight on. Somebody comes up with the spotlight that we had. It's one of those big lantern ones. Plugs into the truck, you know. Shining it on the thing. And we're shining it over there. And it took a little, you know, maybe five, ten seconds to find it. Because we were just going by sound. And we saw it. And what we saw didn't really look like anything that anybody had seen before. Uh, it was hard to keep the light on it because it was from a distance. But also because whenever the light seemed to hit it, it like it was aware it was like aware the light would hit it. It's almost like the light hurt it. Like when it hit it, it would like kind of like contract a little bit and then it would move again. And it didn't move straight up and down like you think it would. Climbing. Another thing is these walls, the edge of these walls of this um, uh, landfill, it wasn't. It was. It wasn't like. It wasn't. It was pretty flush. I mean, it was pretty straight. Basically, if you were a grappler, I mean, I've, I've, I've mountain hiked. I've you know hiked before and stuff like that. Climbed, but. You would have a very difficult time climbing up there. You wouldn't be able to climb up the side of that uh, without any uh, repellent, <clears throat> you know, without any tools, any, uh, you know, hiking tools, whatever. You wouldn't be able to climb up the side of the wall. I mean, maybe if you had some spikes, basically, there's no, this wasn't, this wasn't a person doing this, right? And the way that it moved, it didn't go straight up and down. It went kind of like a diagonal motion, like a zigzag. It would, like, kind of shoot up in the side, and then it would stop, and it would go, like, almost directly to the side, and then kind of, again, diagonally, and then it moved in, like, a zigzag formation. But... What we saw, what it looked like, is it was just dark shape. Um, it's hard to see a three-dimensional thing. Of course, it was three-dimensional, but it was hard to see a whole lot of detail on it. But it was had had four limbs, and it had a head, and it had it's probably it's hard to say from the distance, but bigger than a man. Bigger, I'd say maybe seven or eight feet, seven to eight feet tall. I mean, my guess. Um, but, but the limbs is what stood out. Is it had the limbs were twice as long as like a human. So basically, if you can imagine a human being with its legs and arms twice the length, that's what it looked like. It was definitely disproportionate to, um, you know, primate. And uh, 
the way it moved, yeah, it would stretch and it kind of like at a pivot at a diagonal angle and then it would shoot up diagonally and then it would, and then it would go to the side. And a couple times we were trying to hit it with the light, we would, it would stay and it would turn like that to like kind of like see where the light was coming from, like almost to kind of acknowledge us. And when it turned, it had like a beak, like a snout. Not a beak, not a beak, a snout, like a dog or a cat, more like a cat. It wasn't quite as long as a dog, but it was more pronounced than a cat. So when it turned, it had this like, like, yeah, snout. I didn't see any ears on it. Didn't really see any color except that it was black. Black or dark, dark gray or dark, dark brown. Um, I didn't see any hair. I couldn't tell if it was smooth or if it had fur. Um, all I could tell, though, man, is I have no idea what it was, and it scared the shit out of us. I mean, you know, we tried to keep the light on as much as we could, but then it got, I don't know, halfway up, and it, we lost track of it. it. just, you know, couldn't get the couldn't get the light on it or it went in the other direction or it disappeared. We don't know. Because the rocks started falling, we couldn't hear it anymore. And uh, that's it. That's it. I noticed, uh, you know, some stories about evil Spider-Man is because uh, that's kind of what we started to nickname as Venom from Spider-Man, because it moved like Spider-Man might, you know. And it, um, that's all we could call it was evil Spider-Man. We don't know what it was, but that was it, man. Um, some sightings uh, I've, I've read since then have had some similar, uh, similar sightings and stuff like that. Um, uh, they describe it as something similar, very similar to what that was. I don't think it was a Sasquatch or a Bigfoot. I don't think so, only because I mean the descriptions of those things, they don't seem to move like that. And this thing, I'm telling you, the way it scaled that wall, we went back the next day to look again to see the actual wall where we could see it. There's no way a human could do that. I mean, I mean, you would, you would have to be literally Spider-Man to climb that fucking wall without any gear, right? Unless you already had, you know, spikes in there and a rope. And even then, you want to be going at that zigzag way, right? It just, it's just not... It wasn't a person. And the, the fact that the limbs are so long, I can't think of what it would be. Don't know. You know, I'm not going to say it was an alien or whatever, but I don't think it was anything like a poltergeist or I don't think it was a ghost of any sort. And I guess it could be. I don't know. I've never really seen a ghost. So, I mean, I don't know what it was. There's really no explanation for it. But uh, then it just vanished. <clears throat> vanished. And the noises stopped. Still lost track of it. It was, it was just like it was like it could just, boop, gone. I mean, you would think if it's scattered down, you would, like, hear it going down or if it made it to the top you would hear it get coming over the over the top but nothing just it's like it just disappeared that was it you know it was four of us saw it now granted we were drunk yeah we were but <clears throat> you know i mean uh the fact that uh so, so you know you can take that and take that into account but the fact that all four all four of us saw it we could hear it too which is another big thing it wasn't just a visual thing it was an audio too we could hear it just hear the rocks falling it tells us that there was something you know so there you go there's my story